think. And uh, now I want to I want to say a few things about uh, future learn because it sort of fits into the management theory at work in radio event, which is sort of academic, but uh, I just think the situation of universities or education is getting more like radio or sound. It's all, it's all, it is all being disrupted gradually in different ways by digital or the interwebby bits. And um, there's, there's sort of missing news during, during the, the week, I think. Um, Peter Horrocks has resigned, so the Open University possibly is moving away from what he was trying to do. I, don't, I just don't know what is supposed to be happening with FutureLearn which was a sort of digital MOOC direction, gradually moving into degrees, um, or certainly certificates. Yeah, I think probably degrees. Coventry had done about 50, I think, are either launched or going to be launched, and several other universities getting, getting involved as well. So what, what I'm wondering is what is supposed to happen with all of that if the, if the money isn't going to be invested in that, if it's going back in direction somehow. And um, so I, I think we'd, we will have a look at that and also try and, try and look at the courses that have been launched from Exeter because over the summer I think there's one about the weather which is in association with, with the Met Office. There's one about Empire which is studied as history in or the British Empire in Exeter, and also there's one about clothing, which I don't don't really understand very much. But I'm, I'm going to try and find out um, how those relate back to Exeter as a place, and maybe that will give us some idea what's what's happening with with future learn. And also, we, we we did broadcast on the on the Wild Show, not all of, but quite quite a lot of the talk from Class Central, which was at South by Southwest in Austin, about the way in which several MOOC platforms are now doing degrees and certificates and are becoming quite viable. And um, that's, that's something to look at. I, I don't know any, any, any numbers about FutureLearn, but I, I imagine they're on a similar sort of course, well, it's course to, a similar track to Coursera, that's what, how I should have put that, in some way. But what it is, nobody's reporting. Most most of the newspaper articles or commentary that I've come across just says um, Horrocks has resigned. No, nobody likes what he was doing. Uh, the university is going to go back to what it was, and there's there's really no mention of where where future learning is supposed to go. Uh, so that's that's just something to to look at, and I think we'll also talk about that when we come around to BET and learning technologies next year because several of these platforms are going to be there and it's a, a reasonable question what they're, what, what they're all doing. So that's my, my rave of the week. Right. Have you got another track, John? Yeah, I can find one.